welcome to the second instalment of Tom's viral video diaries where we look behind the scenes at all the goings on here at Nash. I'm back from my holidays, feeling refreshed. I've got plenty to show you this episode. We're down on a church lake actually, we get a lot of questions and a lot of uh, emails etc asking questions about the church and the cops lakes here. So I thought I'd give you a little insight. I've got a great bit of footage of some of the lake's biggest residents. Um, we're also at Tanyard Lakes in East Sussex where we've been doing a bit of filming for the up and coming 2014 DVD. As per usual, Alan hasn't disappointed and he's caught off another fish for the cameras for us. We also feature Paul from the warehouse, he's been a very keen angler, very good angler. He's been doing a lot of floater fishing of an evening and I handed him the camera, handed him the tripod and said, go do your thing, Paul. He's got some great little bit of floater fishing footage for us, which will bring you up. Without further ado, let's crack on and see what's happening. So I found a group of fish up on a church here. They're right in the margin, just beyond these reeds behind me. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and creep up on them, see if we can get some good footage of them. Just swimming off a little bit. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get these on film. Just got a couple of chunks. Right in the edge here. So despite seeing several fish on the bank, um, I'm not really able to get close enough to them as I'd like to give you guys a proper look. Um, it's not really doing it much justice. So what I've decided to do, I've made the call, donned my life jacket, I'm gonna get out in the boat, see if we can creep right up on them. Um, try and get some on film from real close. Just approaching a group of fish now. Look at this right under the boat. Look at that. A lot of fish in this bay. My plan is. I want to try and get a close up of at least one of the big girls for you to see. That's a good fish to see. I've come quite close to the older ones over the years. Every time I come down a bait and check the water and the quality, etc. So much so that now I can pretty much they expect to be hand fed on a regular basis. The light levels quite hard on this camera, but look at that. Bang, right up against right up to the boat that didn't even know I was there then. Here we go, here they are, here they are. That is a big fish. It's just seen us, look. It's just seen us. They've all seen us. There's one of the fullies actually, just going out of shot there. Not one of the big girls, but oh, it is a big, it's the f one of the big fullies just there. I hope this is coming out well on the camera. I really do. Oh, there's a chunk. That's one of the big girls right there. They clearly like this corner. Perfect day for a bit of fish spotting, I know that. Oh my god, there's a chunk right under the boat. That's the big common. There's a big common. Oh, I don't know if you got a glimpse in or not. Little common. So little, none of them are little, but. Here we go. Two fish there, five good fish. Three fish on. Right under the boat there. A little common there. That was him. So 
So we're down at uh, Tanyard Lakes today, beautiful complex of lakes in East Sussex. Um, some of the best I've seen in fact, real picturesque, real well maintained. Um, it's a lovely day, it's 30 degrees, the sun's out, it's flat calm. Maybe not the best fishing conditions, but a great day for filming. Um, this is exactly why we're here. Um, basically I'm with Winston and Ollie today. We've come to see Carl and Alex, who are two of our young juniors who um, got their own YouTube channel, which you probably would have seen by now. They get a lot of hits, got a lot of fishing content that they upload there regularly. Uh, really good lads, really work hard, keen anglers. They're just setting up now and baiting their swims, etc. They're just in the background there, you can probably see them. Like I said, it's 30 degrees, there's carp everywhere today. Um, so I'm hoping once the filming's done later on, we've done what we've had to do. Get a couple of hours to myself to do a sneaky bit of floater fishing maybe. Obviously I've got the floater rods in the van, as you do. And like I say, this evening when the heat cools down a little bit, we might be able to nick one or two off the top. Um, and I'll have a carp or two to show you. Would this be your first tan yard car? This will be my first tan yard car. First cast. First cast? No way. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say many people have had a tan yard car on their first cast. That works. Oh. Well and truly gutted. We finished filming for the day. Um, the second we stopped filming, I grabbed my rod, couldn't wait any longer, I've been watching fish all day up all over the place, couldn't resist any longer, uh, so I grabbed my floater gear, come round to this little point on the lake, um, tried to get them ground on the floaters, failed a little bit to be honest with you, I was a lot of bird life, um, and it just wasn't happening, all I had with me was my floater gear and a bit of bread, so I cut off, put a bare hook on, big lump of bread, got it in there, um, 30 seconds, the, rod's, the line's lifted up, the rod's gone, and I'm in. Um, managed to get it all out of the weeds, playing it, it was a real fight. I had my suspicions from the off to be honest with you, but I uh, got it in the net. I need to find it foul hooked in a peck. Um, whether it's foul hooked the whole time or it slipped that or whether it slipped out its mouth and gone in its peck, I don't know, but um, unfortunately we can't count them, so I've slipped it straight back. Um, it's a good fish as well, it's definitely a mid-20, low 20, mid-20. Um, what can you do? So I flicked the rod straight back out, it got about an hour before dark, so hopefully um, I'm going to get a chance to hook another one in the mouth this time, hopefully. So we're about to leave Tanyard. We've had a great couple of days filming. It's gone really well, the weather's been brilliant. The guys have even caught a couple of fish. Unfortunately, I failed on the fish front. Um, you, you would have seen yesterday. On the way out, we're just going to go and have a quick look at the aquarium on site. Um, open to the anglers, open to the public, go and little take a break from the fishing and go and have a look at uh, some of the fish. So let's check this out. Got some big rod there. Couple of roach, a few skimmers, even a traveller. Look at him. Second tank, a bit more ornamental. Got a few golden off in there, a few golden tench, a few ship, uh, ship pumpkins, I believe. But you know, this is the real reason why I brought you in here. It's to show you these beasts. Look at him. Look at the size of him. I've already been told by Steve the bailiff, he's just over three pounds at the moment because he's just spawned normally near a four. For me, the ultimate, ultimate fish, UK species. 
I love them. Just an awesome fish. Another one somewhere as well, he's hiding over the back there with a pike hook. He's also about three pounds. And there's a little matey there, about a pound one. What's going on here, Al? <laughs> Come down for an afternoon. Fishing with Chloe. Got a few products I need to test. Terminal tackle items, and yeah, it's gone really well. Lost a couple of fish this morning on the bottom, and basically we conducted the testing. Chloe's helped me. Had a few fish, got some great results. Decided to get the flavours out because it's absolutely amazing. And yeah, been drifting the riser pellet down, and uh, got quite a few fish. Really, really confident. Um, as you can see, I've got one on now. He's angry. Chloe's just had a series of bleeps further up the bank. Um, yeah, it's one of those nice Friday afternoon sessions. And there it is. Another cracking carp. The weather really turned, the sun came out, and decided to flick a few floaters out. And yeah, caught some lovely fish. Right, before I get started, uh, just a quick little bit about the lake. Um, it's about two acres in size. It's quite shallow, but it is also very weedy. But I'm gonna actually be fishing for them off the top today. Let's go and get some rods in the water. But today I'm gonna be using the new Nash floaters. Um, they come in a crustacean flavor, and they also come in strawberry flavor. Uh, they're very, very oily, uh, and the carp absolutely love them. So let's get a few out in the water and see if we can get a few carp feeding. Took it without me even looking at it. They're going mad for these floaters.
There you go. Caught on a new Zigbug, uh, the floater Zigbug. Happy days. So I'm here in the photo studio, just getting a few bits done. Um, I've just had a very excited Kev come in and start telling me of his uh, fishing exploits at the weekend. He's found a group of fish in the margins. Um, not only that, he's managed to get him feeding on the riser pellet and better still, managed to film it all in his iPhone for you guys to see. Now obviously I was very excited about this and wanted to uh, see more. However, this isn't exactly what I was uh, expecting. It's good work though, Dashi. Today, with my soon to be fishing buddy, we found some carp in the margin. As you can see, Most Bobby's really got them going now. Ah. It's good this riser pellet, isn't it, Bobby? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. So here's something cool to leave you on for this episode, yet another competition exclusive to the official NASA Tackle page. Um, we've got a copy of this brand new book, Finding the Time to Cast. It's a brilliant book compiled by Chris Curry, uh, features a variety of anglers from all over the country who have all got that thing in common where they're juggling their work life with their family life and all share the passion for catching big carp basically and still manage to go out there and despite all this just still manage to get out there and catch some fish. Um, it's a brilliant read, it's a little bit different from the norm and we've been given one copy to give away on our Facebook page. So one lucky Facebook viewer will win this. The competition will be up and running as of Wednesday the 23rd of July. It'll be up there for a week so you've got a Wednesday to Wednesday to get into him. Um, and that's it basically, so get yourselves over there as of tomorrow and get into him. Um, and that's it for this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it once more. I've really enjoyed making it, it's been good fun this time. The fish are feeding again, there's a real buzz in the office, everyone's fishing, everyone's doing their thing, um, and it's, it's going really well. So keep your eyes peeled over the coming weeks for uh, the next instalment of Tom's Viral Video Diaries. Catch you soon.